All right, so let's take a look at what matters most here, which is finding out what the situation is uh, for people's water and their homes where they live. And as you've heard, people have been asking to have their homes tested. It's not happening. So we're going to do this two different ways, all right? We went to somebody's house, and we watched an independent tester who this community has been using to try to get some sense of what's in there, all right? We went in there, went into the basement. Why? Because if you want to know what comes into somebody's house, you know what you look through? The air handler. You look through what is monitoring the air in that place, and that's where this story starts. When you blow up vinyl chloride, there's a whole different fingerprint to that. Did you find that? In yes, and we're matching the fingerprint to what has been a what, is what been else trained. that my wife buys at the store has vinyl chloride. To my knowledge, nothing. I mean, it, it, that's pure vinyl chloride. Nothing. This is water coming back up into your basement, yes. not draining down from your basement. No, it's coming up. The, Sulfur run is Sulfur right underneath run house. is that place where everybody goes and pokes it and right. the stuff Correct. comes out. And that is the water that's coming up into your Correct. basement. Yes. Here. I understand why you're concerned, and I understand what you want is attention. And let's let Scott give it to you and see what he finds now. Common sense says the deeper the go you go, the more you find. You're saying this is the well, opposite. Common sense, no, the deeper you go, the less you find. Because, because of the dust particles and how they're settled. Because we're used we're to digging deep, the like the truth is beneath. You're saying it's on the surface. Yeah, it's on the surface in this particular case because of the, the, the dust and how it's settled. <sighs> I Listen, first of all, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry for you to have to live this and be worried about everybody, and it seems like nobody's listening. I'm very sorry. Um, I wish it were in our control, you know? But you know, you keep apologizing. I'm sorry my house smells like this. I'm sorry you have... You don't have anything to be sorry for. You didn't do anything. You're just asking for help. And I'm, you know, it's great that the homeowners got together. You're getting some independent testing. People can look at the numbers and hopefully it drives some interest to find out what we don't know. It makes you feel like you can't trust anyone. You doing okay? Trying. It's hard each day. Still don't know where we're gonna live. Um, it's hard because there's six in my family. Mm -hmm. We can't afford to take on a mortgage when our home was paid for. Even if they give you fair value for the house, you can't take that money somewhere else and get what you have. They're here. now discussing trying to move us back in after cleaning. Mm after all the damage, all the contamination, we'll stay the on. high readings. Yeah, and they we'll stay on it, back. and thank you for letting us in your home. Thank you. I appreciate it. Now, there's, there's an aspect of this uh, that I don't understand, but Scott, the guy who was doing the testing, does. Understand, uh, say it to people who understand, like me, about what people need to understand about the chemical process here. Google synergistic toxicity. Best example, migraines. Caffeine and aspirin, together, they'll solve your headache. Separate, they won't. Now, the bad toxicity, there's over 50 chemicals. Dioxins can combine with vinyl chloride at low levels. That's synergistic toxicity. They combine in a way in the human body that create toxicity. There are no standards for these, how these chemicals combine. The EPA repeatedly cites a singular exposure to a singular chemical, totally disingenuous. Mm -hmm. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.